I saw uh, what uh, Steven Mnuchin said, and uh, I also saw that there were some movements. Uh, well, uh, it's not the habit of the Commission to comment a lot on uh, exchange rates. Uh, that would rather be the business of central bankers. Uh, I, 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 for the time being, uh, we see nothing which is uh, absolutely out of uh, control. Uh, so, but we need to be, of course, vigilant, watching it, uh, because we need to, to strike the right balance, especially uh, between the dollar and uh, the uh, euro. Look, I mean, Pierre, we're all, and we're all happy that Europe is recovering as well. And, and, and to be fair, I've spoken to you many times over years as a Jeff, and you never lost your faith in Greece and other countries. So that credit to you, sir, as well. But when I see the euro trading 124.50 against the dollar, having had a big rally and looking like its legs go further, does that worry you that actually we need a response from Europe because otherwise there's a trade war which Europe's going to lose? Uh, 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 I answered you. Uh, uh, we are not going to improvise about that. We need to, to see that in the uh, medium term and we need to address that with a uh, cool blood yeah. and cool head. But again, as you said, uh, l let's look at the reality. Yesterday, President of France, I know France, I'm French, mm. said here France is back. I, I must say, Europe is back. Yeah. Uh, we, we come here with good news and with some strength. Uh, the uh, average growth in Europe is going to be over 2.2%, widely over. It's uh, higher than the uh, US growth. Uh, our public finances now are really sound. Uh, and we are going and in this year to get I hope definitely rid of uh, problems like the Greek case. Mm. Greece is going to be, and that will be a, an historical event after 10 years of crisis, a normal member of the Eurozone. So uh, we need to concentrate on our competitiveness, on our attractiveness, and I'm, I'm quite convinced that we will make it. And, you know, uh, uh, on all fields, and this includes also currencies probably, We'll do whatever it takes, as Mario Draghi P says. Pierre, um, very briefly, I know we've got to move on, Bella Chalet has turned up as well. Um, is history turning itself on its head? Is there a new phase going on here? We talk about the China-US relationship. You've got a French president, and you're a former French finance minister, French president talking about globalisation, no barriers, no tariffs, and you've got an American president raising tariffs. As a student of history, do you think we're cha there's something that's going on here? History doesn't change uh, in one meeting in Davos uh, and two speeches. We, if you look at history, you need to have a longer perspective. But I think th that what changes uh, is the fact that we are now in a period of crisis, uh, of uh, growth, the highest uh, since the last 10 years. But also, uh, uh, there is no growing consciousness that inequalities are unacceptable. Yeah. And we need to reduce that. When 82% uh, of uh, world's uh, wealth uh, is taken by 1% of the people, when companies, multinationals, uh, can avoid uh, taxes uh, to pay their fair share of tax where they create profit and yep. values, and I think about digital, we need to solve that. And that's my job as tax commissioner. That's uh, the, the purpose of most of the meetings I will have here. It's not uh, anti-business. Uh, it's just pro-fairness. I'm quite sure that in this new world, in this new period, we can uh, combine uh, open societies, open economies, uh, and uh, fair economic policy. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.